Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Blackfeet Lacrosse and their shafts, products, uh, very cool company. I also want to mention uh, Lax Laces, which is a, a company that makes bracelets out of um, sidewall string. They uh, sent me this one, it's got California colors, very cool, very comfortable. I've had these in the past. I actually made one in the past. It's you know like the survival bracelet, but the one I made with sidewall is totally uncomfortable. I don't know if it was different sidewall or what, but I've had this one on for a couple weeks and it's completely comfortable. Very cool. So go check out Lax Laces on uh, Instagram. I think they're five bucks. Also laxlaces.net. Pretty cool thing to have, especially if you bust a sidewall and you don't have string, you can dismantle that, restring, and you're set. All right, let's start talking about Blackfeet. Blackfeet is a company that uh, is run by a guy named Rick Codius. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, Codius. Uh, and they make wood shafts, and they are beautiful. Riley and I were at a tournament in San Francisco a few years ago, rainy tournament. He was using like a hand-me-down shaft that just wasn't great. It was really slippery. I mean, we were taping it up, tape was falling off. And he's like, we checked out these shafts because Rick was at this tournament. He convinced me to buy him one and we did and he loved it and it was really nice in that tournament. He used it for about a year. No, well, maybe not a year, but I can't find it now. We may have sold it or traded it. So they reached out to me to see if I would take a look at their products and, and maybe talk about them on video. And they're just, you know, they're just gorgeous wood shafts. This is an ash um, stained with a nice dark stain. Their butt ends are just beautiful. I believe that's Brazilian cherry. Uh, and what they do to reduce weight, this is the feather weight. So to, to reduce weight, they bore out the ends, I think. Um, I don't know how far, but it uh, apparently it doesn't reduce strength, um, but makes it lighter. This is, a, a, like I said, this is the feather weight, and I believe it's 8.1 ounces. Um, feels light for a wood shaft, feels nice. It's a great feeling shaft. They have four weights available in the shafts, anywhere from seven ounces, which I think is the ultra light. And then this is the, then up from that is the feather weight. I don't know the names of the other two, but they go from about seven ounces to 11, 11.5 11 ounces, something like that. Um, so, you know, not overly heavy, like for a wood shaft, this is not even the lightest one. It, uh, it does not feel heavy, um, but they also have a box shaft, which is the heaviest, I'm sure. Burly. Uh, feels substantial. Feels like, you know, some real light wood shafts don't feel like they're going to last. This feels like it will have no problem inflicting some damage and, and living through it. They also have deep holes. I believe there's three weights for the deep holes uh, from like 1.15 1 pounds to 1.3 pounds. Um, and so, the, you know, that 1.3 pound deep hole, that thing's got to be just beastly. I would like to get my hands on one of those and, and feel it. But, you know, if you're, a, if you're a pole and you're looking for some lumber just to deal some punishment with, you know, just definitely check out Blackfeet. So they also sent me uh, a couple of these zipper poles. It's just kind of on their accessories page. Um, by the way, this is my 511 backpack. Hardly even shows up. It's so dark. Awesome backpack. But I, I have a hard time getting to the zippers. They're always under here and I'm like, so this is perfect. You know, you can also put a, a zipper pull on your jacket or whatever. And they're, they're cool. It's just like the butt end, that Brazilian cherry, a little bit of leather. I love it. Uh, nice little thing. One of the very coolest things that they sell along with the shafts is their butt ends. Their butt ends are awesome. This one I believe is maple. And this one I believe is Brazilian cherry, but they're very cool. I mean, they're just you know, awesomely built, crafted, I should say. So the uh, there's a little bit of shooting string that's in the notch, and I think that locks it all into place. You just slide it in and push, pops in, and you're good to go. Very sweet looking butt end. Feels good too. Yeah, I like those a lot. Uh, but then another thing they sell, and these are just incredibly cool, are mini sticks. So it's like a two leather pita. They sent me purple, so you know, just another stain they can do um, with, a, with a 
gold or, or yellow and purple with yellow leathers for the Minnesota Vikings, which I am a Vikings fan, lifelong Vikings fan. They're 3-0 and right now, which you know, I didn't expect. But this thing is awesome. A little Blackfeet logo here. Very cool little mini stick. Uh, we've been playing around with, we have quite a few mini sticks in the house, and we've been playing around with them a lot. And uh, They're always fun. Always a good thing to have in the house, especially in, you know, winter when it's uh, when it's wet or snowy. You need to get to get a stick in your hand, and maybe you don't have a lot of space in your house, and you play a little knee ball or whatever. Those are fun. Definitely go check out BlackfeetLacrosse.com. I think is the is the website. Um, this guy does. It's a, I think it's like a one man show, and he travels around to tournaments. He's in it for the love of the game. He doesn't charge exorbitant prices. I've I've reviewed a few wood shafts over the years and sometimes I'm kind of hesitant to do so because even though I love wood and I love wood shafts I uh, you know what more can be said but when companies do things that are are beautiful like this you know this this little section right here I mean that's gorgeous and then they do innovative things like boring and, and you know lightning without sacrificing strength I think it's important to talk about and there's a there's a large section of the population who is interested in traditional materials um, you know you get a you get a wood lacrosse stick in your hands and, and you, you feel kind of connected to it may sound hokey but you feel connected to nature and maybe the roots of the game you know when they played with wood sticks so I've, I've always been a fan of of wood all right guys thank you for watching go check out blackfeetlacrosse.com uh, Definitely pick up one of their shafts. They're awesome. Look for them at tournaments. You know, and if you do, go say hi, talk to the guy, get one in your hands and, and feel it. I think you're going to really like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching.